planet Earth. It contains all of human history, the good and the bad. It's an extremely small speck in the vast ocean of the cosmos. Lit by a star 93 million miles away, it is not the only planet in our solar system. However, it is the only planet currently known to harbor and support life. Have you ever looked up at the stars at night and wondered, do any of these stars also have planets? That one, or those in the bottom right? Any of these or those? Well, astronomers have been asking this too, and now they know that most of them do. Let's head back to planet Earth now to find out how they know this. To an observatory on the North American plate. Here, at the Allegheny Observatory of the University of Pittsburgh, a historic landmark rich in scientific history, where famous scientists like John Brashear, Samuel Langley, and James Keeler pointed its telescopes at the stars. Wonderful science is still being performed here today. Step Up, the survey of transiting extrasolar planets at the University of Pittsburgh, trains young astronomers in observational and analytical techniques exposing them to the latest research in extrasolar planets. They conduct these observations using this very telescope. The astronomers of Step Up point this telescope at the stars, and then they analyze the collected data to find exoplanets. So what's an exoplanet anyway? And how do the astronomers here and around the world find these exoplanets and know that they're really there? Well, an exoplanet is just a planet that orbits another star, like this one. One technique astronomers use to find them is by pointing their telescopes at stars in our galaxy, then they look at the collected data for a dip in the brightness of the star over time. As you can see, when the planet moves in front of the star, from our viewpoint, a dip in its brightness occurs. When that is observed, it becomes a candidate planet. Next, other observatories will point their telescopes at the same star and try to confirm the data. If these original observations are corroborated by the other observatories, then it will become a confirmed exoplanet. Let's go back into space now and see how the scientists at NASA are contributing to this amazing search. Let's take a look at NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. Launched in 2009, it has found over 3,000 planet candidates. Let's go to one right now. We're now traveling 500 light years away from Earth to a star system called Kepler-186, and it has some very interesting characteristics. We're here, Kepler-186, a dwarf star about half the size of our Sun. Let's zoom out a bit to get some perspective. The farther away we get, the closer it gets to looking like one of the many dots in our night sky. Astronomers have confirmed that this star system harbors five total planets and one of them is in a very special position around the star. Let's explore. Here's planet Kepler 186b, c, d, and e, but we're not interested in exploring them right now. There it is, Kepler 186f. This planet is roughly the same size as Earth. Also, it orbits its star in what astronomers call the habitable zone which means it's just the right distance for liquid water to exist. And that's interesting 
because everywhere we've found liquid water on Earth, we've also found life. Let's take a closer look at an artist's interpretation of the planet. Amazing. It looks so similar to Earth. In fact, astronomers have been calling it Earth's cousin. I wonder if it really has an atmosphere, continents, and an ocean like this. This is all speculative, of course, but actually possible given the known data on the planet. And I wonder, could there actually be life here? We can make an assumption. That assumption is that an alien civilization would also use lights at night, just like we do. Scientists have also thought of this and are now developing new techniques so that they may one day be able to detect artificial lights on distant planets. What other planets in our galaxy might be like this? Well, the data on exoplanets actually show that there are more planets than there are stars in our sky. And about one every five stars is a sun-like star. With around 200 billion stars in our galaxy alone, that leaves us with an estimated 11 billion potentially habitable planets like Earth. Remember this the next time you look up at night.